The 20th century is the most violent century in history. While that century witnessed many great leaders such as Franklin D. Roosevelt, Mother Teresa, Dr. Martin Luther King, Winston Churchill, Margaret Thatcher, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, and Nelson Mandela, it had more than its fair share of utterly evil leaders. Adolf Hitler, 1889-1945. The Chancellor of Germany from 1933 to 1945 and Führer of the Nazi Party, Adolf Hitler was perhaps the most intelligent, creative and brutal dictator of them all. He was largely responsible for the Holocaust and the Second World War. He believed that Jews were the root cause of all problems and set out to eliminate them. His actions resulted in the death of over 50 million people. Hitler committed suicide in his bunker on 30th of April 1945. Hard to believe that he was once a talented artist and part of a bohemian community. Joseph Stalin, 1878 to 1953, Josef Vissarionovich. Stalin was dictator of the Soviet Union from 1922 till his death in 1953. As a young man, he was a robber and an assassin. For almost 30 years, he reigned with terror and violence in the Soviet Union. His decisions led to a famine that killed millions. Forget enemies, he even killed families of people who were fond of him. Under his rule, more than 1.5 million German women were raped, and in all, he easily killed over 20 million people. He once said, one death is a tragedy, a million deaths is simply a statistic. Ironically, he was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize in 1945 and 1948. He died of a stroke in 1953. Vlad the Impaler, 1431, 1476, 77. Vlad the Impaler was also known as Vlad Dracula. The character of Dracula was loosely based on Vlad due to his sadistic personality and cruel acts done to the people of Wallachia, where he reigned as prince three times between 1448 to 1462 and killed about 20% of the population. He impaled the victim through the buttocks till the stake came out of the mouth. A German pamphlet once read, he roasted children whom he fed to their mothers, and he cut off the breasts of women and forced their husbands to eat them. After that, he had them all impaled. Pol Pot, 1925-1998. Pol Pot was the leader of the Cambodian revolutionary group, the Khmer Rogue, which had orchestrated the Cambodian genocide. Pol Pot believed in destroying the Cambodian civilization in order to start a new regime and usher in a new age. He is probably the only man in history who ordered mass genocide on his own country. During his reign as prime minister from 1976 to 1979, his policies led to the death of around 2 million people, which was 25% of the entire population. He liked to keep the skulls of people he had killed and he went as far as ordering babies to be torn limb by limb. He died of natural causes. Saddam Hussein, 1937-2006. He was the dictator of Iraq from 1979 to 2003. During his reign, he authorized countless attacks on people. His policies made way for the death of not less than two million people. He ordered chemical attacks, eye gouging, beatings and severe shocks on people. He also recorded several tortures and deaths to watch them later. Saddam was found guilty of crimes against humanity and hanged in 2006. Idi Amin, 1952-2003. Idi Amin, who was the chief of army staff, had taken control of Uganda while President Obote had gone to Singapore to attend a meeting. He promised to bring prosperity to Uganda, but a week later, he declared himself president of Uganda. As dictator, he came to be known as the Butcher of Uganda. He killed people by feeding them to crocodiles, claimed he was a cannibal, mutilated one of his wives and rearranged her limbs. He killed and tortured around half a million people between 1971 to 1979 as ruler. He died of natural causes, even the terrible, 1530-1584. Ivan was the first Tsar of Russia. As a kid, he used to throw animals from the top of tall structures. Though he was intelligent, he had bouts of rage due to mental illness. During one, he even killed his own heir to the throne. 
He loved impaling, beheading, burning, strangling, frying, blinding and disemboweling people. Even in Friends, he saw his enemies. In the Novgorod massacre, more than 60,000 people were tortured to death. Leopold the Eye End of Belgium, 1835-1909. When king, he ruled over the Congo Free State, which was approximately 76 times the size of Belgium. He made the entire world believe that he was going to help Congo. But under his regime, between 1885 to 1908, the country was subjected to a reign of terror. Over 500,000 died of diseases, and many died of starvation as well. He killed over 10 million Congolese, which was 50% of the population of Congo. All this just to gain money and more power. Nero, 37 to 68. Nero wreaked havoc in the Roman Empire. He burnt entire cities, murdered thousands of people and every member in his family. People were stabbed, burned, boiled, crucified and impaled. It is believed that he started the great fire that burned Rome, but blamed it on Christians, who were then brutally tortured. Nero committed assisted suicide when he knew the rebellion would be lost. Genghis Khan, 1162-1227 Genghis Khan was the emperor of Mongolia from 1206 to 1227. His bloodthirsty nature led to many victories, such as a large part of China but also the killing of countless people. It is believed that his men, if out of water, would drink blood from their horses. His army killed 15 million people in the Iranian plateau. A total of about 20 to 60 million people died during his reign. How he died still remains a mystery. Mao Zedong, 1893-1976. He was the dictator of China from 1943-1976. Mao had a dream of making China a superpower, but in the process, he created the largest genocide in history. Although he has been credited with modernizing China and making it a world power, his actions killed around 40 to 70 million people through forced labor, executions, and starvation. Mao himself succumbed to illness. Maximilien Robespierre, 1758-1794. He was the architect of the French Revolution. As a younger leader, he advocated a better life for the people of France. But soon, his obsession with guillotining, beheading using a machine with a huge knife blade at the end, began. His reign of terror has been a famous part of history. He killed over 40,000 people within 10 months and believed that killing was always better than forgiving. He ordered an attack on Vendée, killing over 100,000 men. Ironically for him, Robespierre was also guillotined without trial. Thanks for watching the video, and if you found it informative, please like and subscribe to Time Capsule for similar content. We look forward to sharing more knowledge with you in the future. Until then, take care.